So guys, this live reaction review of Baki on episode 9 has given us the benefit of the doubt with, with new characters approaching. And not to mention not only a new character, but also a girl who has been experienced with motorcycles. Now, if you guys don't know this new girl, she's the one that was in the whole bet competition, you know, the, the, the festival and who was betting on she betting that Suzuki was gonna win. Now, I like to take a I would like to take a back flashback to that episode and say I didn't like her. But in this episode, I like to express it in a way, what the hell? What the hell? I mean let's let me just hear this. Let me just give you a little review and a reaction of this whole thing because well, this episode I kinda of blow my freaking mind to them to the next level. To in like we on episode nine and like I, I mean I'm sorry, yeah we on nine and we have like three more left so let's start so you meet you got a new girl and what makes the new girl in what makes the sixth person in oh I don't know how about a new opening or oh, a new ending we didn't get that they kept the thing was throughout the first eight eight, eight episodes their opening was uh was awesome the only difference was the running time, the rundown time. So what they did is, hey, let's add the new girl to the mix, which is, I can't even say her name right, Shizuka or whatever, Shizume, whatever. And, um, and and then you have the opening completely now. You have the opening and the ending completely because she's there too, almost to the ending of it, with the, you know, when they ride in motorcycles at the end, that's that. Now, again, with the opening, she's there now and she's a six member of our team. That gives you a clear indication before these even before the show even started, before the show even started, that was the clear, clear indication that she's gonna be the sixth person in this whole motorcycle club, bike club, whatever. Now, along the way, a new character also introduced. But before I even get that, she, I don't know why, but every time I look at her, she, she kind of looks like Nico from Love Life. If you guys have the Love Life game or look like or seen the movie or anime or play the app, she does look like Nico in a way. But anyway, it started with the entrance exam and then you got Sakura's sister who I thought, no, I'm not going to front. I'm not going to front. I thought she was the big sister. I'm not going to front. I thought she was because I don't really like focus on like side characters like that. Not like that. But again, soccer sister, I'm like, wait, what's she doing in school? They're both, oh, it's the same, oh. I didn't even know, I'm dead ass, I didn't even know. But they took the exam. And then you got the whole bike club. And Sakura being a club of herself, she's like, vroom, 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 vroom. I'm like, oh Lord, have mercy. Now I know why most people like her, because of her clutchiness, her, her emotions of energetic make the whole bike club the energetic bike club. So anyway. Now, they took the exam, they passed, and now they're going to the school. And uh, how do I put this? How do I sum this up in a little way? You gotta find it, find it funny. Apparently, the new girl is into, she has a motorcycle of her own. But she rode those little, little mini, those little motorcycles with your legs around. It's like, it's like, you know, when you go outside, you see these guys hanging out and these little tiny little motorcycles. And just riding like this and squatting. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Now, another thing. Now, another thing that got me so freaking shocked was Rainbow Senpai. Because I'm like, wait a minute. Third years are graduating third year now. And I'm like, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I still have one thing. Rainbow Senpai, is, is she's like 17-ish? She's immortal. Seven, is she? Is Rainbow Senpai an immortal 17-year-old girl? I mean, think about it. This is like Celtic from the Ra Ra. She's immortal. No one didn't even know her face. And you know, it's funny. I wanted to see her face still. And Sakura's daughter, y Yume, I was hoping to see her with a motorcycle, but then she ended up with a bike. But now Remu Senpai, I'm again, I'm going back to her. How the fuck? How the fuck is she still in that age? Repeating the year recess, she said she it's like okay. None of her friends, I'm still shocked, like like this. Cause wait a minute, you guys telling me that you you guys know her age. 
you're still not telling us she can't stay young forever i'm like with a body like that i don't think she could be young i don't think she is she's like in her 30 ish it's like 30 and a 17 year old body that's like that but she's repeating this year because she wants to keep keep the club going so i'm like I think she's gonna repeat the year, year after year after year after year until she stay immortal, till the bike bike club is done. But she and the principal, you know, they had another flashback of her their relationship because her best friend, the principal's best, one of her best friends, had a daughter, and the daughter is that Nozoki Mizune girl, you know her. So that gives me that's leaving me wondering, how the fuck? Again. Rainbow Senpai, how the fuck is she that good of a motorcycle, I mean, a good biker, but stay at young age? Till this day, we don't know her face. I want to know what she looks like. She could be pretty. We don't know that. I mean, she, you, she, you, she, you, you might like, you got the ugly face, but you have to think of body to prove otherwise. Hello? Now, switching gears to the new girl, the one that looked like Nico from Love Live. The bike club didn't, they can't perform on stage with their motorcycle. So they, what they did is they grabbed their handlebar and start dancing with it to prove like, oh, we're the bike club, and they're all dancing. I'm like, what is this, some love life crap? And now, well, and they were posing with the handles like this, this, this. And then the new girl, Nozoki, whatever, Suzune, I mean, I wanna say Suzune, my bad. <laughs> Suzune came in, she, she put on all these dances too. And the reaction, the reflection of it with her skirt flipping out, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Lollies on motorcycles now? I mean, I know girls got a good body, just her, I don't, she doesn't. Well, she's the first year, so I don't blame her. Now, this, oh, now, looking back at the nine episodes, this shows like whole k reference. This is whole reference of k -On. I like to point things out, I didn't see k -On that much. But if you think about it, the whole reference of k -On is kind of like, okay, you got an air, you got an air-headed girl that's good of a, that's good of a new hobby with more responsible little sisters. Okay, that's Hanayu. Then you got the fan service character who's always uh, poked by the tomboy, which is Rin. The energetic tomboy also, you got the energetic tomboy, the ditzy rich girl, the newcomer prodigy that shares the same that share the same stuff, and you got the other. So that's what I'm saying. It's K on Bakyo. You fuse together, you got a show like this. But again, episode 9 was great, and I can't wait for 10. We're really we're on to the breaking point. So let's keep this episode going. Let's keep the new characters going. And God forbid, can someone please tell me how old she is? I don't If you all read Bakyo, please let me know. Because I'm still like guessing. I mean, I don't know if she's 30 or 17, but damn. But she's repeating the same year, so everything's fine. So, tune in next week for episode 10 of Baki on with another reaction review like I did. And let's see how 10 is really, really hyped up as it is to episode 8. I mean, uh, see, as it is to episode 8. So, next week's 10. And 9. Awesome. With a new character.